Lockdown has been a challenging time for many. It has brought uncertainty, change, and interruption to our comfortable and comforting routines. Throughout lockdown, though, reassuring messages have been emerging about the positive effects, mental, physical, and emotional, of spending time outdoors near rivers. For some families, visiting the local river has become an almost daily part of their family walk. Hugo, Thea, and Dad Stuart have been keeping a family diary of their local river. On their daily walk, they visit the river and take note of the things they see and hear. Hugo, who loves toads and frogs, is keeping a list of the wildlife he sees, while Thea likes to see how much she can splash Hugo. <laughs> My favourite things about the river are the animals. The frogs, mostly. Just because they're interesting. Hugo and Stuart have also been testing how clean the river is. They've been keeping a log of levels of nitrates, phosphates and turbidity they find. I'm going to test the phosphate and the nitrate levels in the water and I do these with my phosphate and nitrate powder test tubes. I've also got cards that show me, after a certain amount of time, the level of the nitrates and phosphates that are in the water. Squeeze all the air out of that tube and then let it suck up the water from the cup. And give that a good shake and in five minutes that will let me know what my phosphate level is. I like fish and um, water birds. So turbidity is a measure of water clarity. So the idea is that we will pour the water from the jug into the tube until that black and white disc disappears. And when it disappears, that's the point at which we mark the turbidity. It basically just shows you at a glance how clear the water is. <laughs> we always need help from all ages monitoring how clean our rivers are. If you and your family are interested in keeping a family diary and testing how clean your local river or burn is, Get in touch with Fourth Rivers Trust. We can provide you with the kit you need and give any other advice on how you can make sure your local river stays clean for everyone.